this is the position where you know we can see Lasker versus Womersley in 1908. So we will see this uh, position which was arised in the game uh, in 1908. Uh, Lasker was given two assignments. So let's see. Here, opponent played b4. Okay, opponent wants to make the queen on this side. So b4, a cross b4. And now a4, okay, he wants to do this side queen. So now if you don't stop this pawn right now, it's going to be a difficult thing. But uh, white said, Lasker said, I don't care. I'll make my queen. So b5, a3, b6, black played this king c8. So he's stopping the pawns. Now bishop a6, that's a problem. King b8. It's going there to stop this because he said, okay, I can stop this or this, both the things with bishop and the king. Now, bishop c4, very interesting. Lasker said, okay, you either you take this and then I'll make the queen on the other side or you, can, you have to stop it by a bishop. So here he played this. He said, okay, you take it. And now d5, very interesting. C cross d5. Now bishop over oh yeah, here, bishop a6 check, king b8, and then c6. Now Lasker has three pass pawns on the sixth rank. It's almost like impossible to stop. a2, okay, he says, okay, even I have pass pawn, let me use mine. d7, and finally now opponent understood what is going to happen, and opponent resigned. Because now if you make the queen, what happened? Uh, check with the queen. If you play this, then it's a checkmate. So that's the problem. And if you don't make the queen, what do you have to do other than that? Either you take it, then the pawn will take again. So no use. D4. Still this check is there. And you have to give away and then it's a checkmate. So that's how Lasker won the game.